Today I want to talk about three tips that I really think can help you with your wacky rig fishing, help you to become a better wacky rig fisherman, which means catching more bass on it and catching bigger bass. So stay tuned, it's going to be a good one. Oh gosh. Ah, here we go. That's a better one. Gotta love that wacky rig. Come here, fish. Oh, come here. Here we go, baby. Wacky rig. You just can't beat it, guys. One of the best lures ever created. One of the best lures that you will fish. The good old wacky rig see you buddy so guys one of the first tips that i want to talk to you real quick is about your equipment now unlike some other lures the wacky rig doesn't really have a specific piece of equipment whether that's a bait cast rod or a spinning rod that you need to have in order to fish it you can really fish it on a lot of different types of tackle you know for me i really like to throw a wacky rig on a spinning rod and i probably throw it on a spinning rod 95 percent of the time there is the rare situation where i might throw it on a bait cast rod but for the most part a spinning rod is what i like the reason that i like that is because one i skip a wacky rig a lot so it is a little bit easier for me to skip a wacky rig with a spinning rod and get further distance than I can with the bait caster. Now you can do it with the bait caster, but again, you're gonna get a further distance using a spinning rod. The other thing that I really like a spinning rod for is because typically I am throwing just a weightless worm when it comes to fishing my wacky worm. The thing is, and this is gonna be tip number two here is I'm not always using a Cinco style bait when I'm fishing a wacky worm. So tip number two, and this is a big one, is you don't have to use the traditional Cinco style bait to fish a wacky worm. You can use a number of different types of worms when you're wacky style. Now a Gary Yamamoto Cinco, Guys, first of all, let me tell you a real quick tip. This isn't a part of the three tips, so this is an additional tip. A Cinco is probably one of the best wacky rig worms that there is on the planet. It has a lot of salt on it so that when it falls, both of the ends are gonna pivot and it just looks really, really good in the water. Now guys, the only problem is, is that Yamamoto Cinco's are pretty expensive. You're talking about basically a dollar for each individual worm. And you're gonna go through a lot of those when you're fishing a wacky rig. So if you want a nice tip to save some money, throw a Bass Pro Shop Sticko. Guys, this is as close to a Cinco as any other worm that I've seen out there on the market. There's a lot of stick bait style baits. You know, Yum makes their little dinger. There's a lot of different type of baits out there on the market, but this Sticko from Bass Pro Shops, one, it's pretty inexpensive. You can buy like 16 or 20 in a pack for like $5 really inexpensive the other thing is is this is as close to a cinco as you can get it actually has about the same amount of salt in it it sinks at the exact same rate of fall and guys this is the one that i have the most of yes i do use cinco's from time to time but the bass pro shop sticko is the number one worm okay Getting back to the tips that I was talking about. Number two, you don't always have to use a Cinco style plastic on your wacky worm. Guys, one of the best wacky rigs is actually a trick worm. Now a trick worm is a really light bait to throw. Again, that's why I like a spinning rod, but a trick worm is just something different, right? It's a seven inch, six and a half, seven inch worm. It's very small in diameter, but again, guys, it, it doesn't matter. It doesn't have to be a Cinco style bait. A trick worm can get the job done on a wacky style when actually a Cinco style one can't. So don't be afraid to throw all kinds of different worms. You know, Robo Worm makes some worms. There's other worms out there. Just test them out. See which ones you like. Now, the one thing you should kind of pay attention to is rate of fall. For instance, a Yum Dinger is the exact same shape as a Cinco, but it has zero, if not very little salt in it. And it really sinks slow and it really doesn't have a lot of action to it it just looks like a a cigar floating down like very very slow like not not fast at all 
But guys, sometimes that's what the bass want. Just be always looking out for different worms that you can throw other than just the same old Gary Yamamoto Cinco. Yes, that worm works, but other ones work really, really well as well. Now, the third tip that I wanna talk to you guys about when it comes to fishing a wacky rig is let the bait do the work. This is one of the easiest baits to fish simply because the bait is doing the work. That very slow fall is what is doing the work, what is getting bite. Whenever I go to cast out a wacky rig, I'm literally going to cast that bait out or skip it under a tree. I'm actually gonna pull my rod back like this and what I'm doing is I'm dropping slack in my line when I do that. And now that bait is falling on 100% slack line. It is just slowly, shimming down the bottom it's doing its thing i'm letting the bait do it i'm not imparting a lot of action and i'm simply gonna let that bait fall all the way to the bottom and then i'm gonna lift it up twitch it a couple times and then let it again fall on a slack line guys that is the number one way that i fish a wacky rig is i'm gonna let the bait do the work cast it out let it sink let it do its thing, pop it a couple times, let it sink back down. Now here's another bonus tip. One of my favorite ways to actually also fish this style of worm is right below the surface. And I'm actually gonna fish this a lot like I do a floating worm. And I actually saw David Dudley, a professional bass fisherman, doing this a lot. But a lot of times what you'll see him do is, is skip his bait out there and he's gonna keep that bait really close to the surface of the water. I'm twitching this bait a couple of times, letting it sink about a foot, and then twitching it. At all times though, I can almost see my Cinco out there, so I'm keeping it really high in the water column. And guys, I'm telling you what, this is a really deadly technique to do that not a lot of people do, so. Guys, I know this ended up being more than three tips. I hope that this helps you catch more fish on a wacky worm, because guys, we all know that wacky worms catch them. You can catch them a little bit better by using these tips. If you enjoyed this video, oh, there's a bite. There he is. Oh, gosh, I just missed one. All right, sorry. Sorry, if you guys, that would have been an awesome way to end the video. I'm gonna see if I get that fish. Hang on, hang on, hang on, hang on just a second. See if he's still there. Hang on, we're gonna we're gonna end this we're gonna end this right. So stay right there. Just hang on a sec. We're gonna end this right with a fish catch. I know there's one sitting right there because he just freaking popped that. There he is. All right, we're ending it right. There he is. <laughs> yes. That's not a big one. Oh, I just lost. Are you kidding me? I'm sorry. That might be the worst way to actually end the video. Guys, if you enjoyed this video though, please give it a like, please comment below, please subscribe, and I'll see you guys in the next video.